the present video is the first one in the set of uh, three videos on uh, uh, operational amplifiers. Uh, the two other will be on the application part of uh, the op-amps. The three areas are one, the first video is on op-amp characteristics, the second one is on the linear applications and the third one is on non-linear applications of the operation amplifiers. Now, uh, we observe that uh, the operation amplifiers mostly are uh, differential in nature. These operation amplifiers are differential in nature and uh, this design eliminates the need for uh, coupling an emitter uh, bypass capacitor and uh, it can also discriminate against uh, common mode signals. That is why these operation amplifiers find uh, much of the use in the uh, integrated circuits. And uh, most recent uh, general purpose operation amplifiers are the bipolar uh, field effect transistors, bifets, uh, which are the combinations of the FETs and the BJTs. So now we'll start uh, about the operation amplifier characteristics. This is the first video on this topic. Uh, basically, first we'll define what is an operation amplifier. It's a direct coupled high gain and high input impedance negative feedback amplifier. Why it is said to be the operational amplifier is because uh, uh, the earlier operational amplifiers which were used in analog computers used to do mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and uh, uh, integration, differentiation and so on. So, the, this was the name given to them at that time and the same name is being continued to these circuits. Operation amplifiers uh, is, uh, they are operating in the uh, differential, um, differential uh, mode and uh, this configuration is most suited uh, for the integrated circuits. And uh, uh, the most common advantage of uh, this uh, difference uh, or differential configuration is it can discriminate against the common mode signals. Here we can see the block uh, schematic uh, representation for an operation amplifier. The, here the first stage is the input stage. This input stage uh, is differential input and differential output. That means the two inputs and two corresponding outputs here. And this provides uh, most of the gain which is needed uh, for the operation amplifier. This uh, next stage is the intermediate stage. This intermediate stage provides the remaining gain needed uh, uh, for the uh, op operation amplifier. And uh, the third stage is level shifting stage. And this level shifting stage uh, uh, provides the level shifting. It uses the emitter follower configuration and the last stage is the output stage and this output stage can provide us uh, uh, enough uh, voltage and current capabilities and uh, it uses the push-pull uh, amplifier configuration. Now we'll see the schematic symbol for the uh, for the operation amplifier. This is the symbol for the operation amplifier. This is the negative terminal, negative input here that's said to be inverting and plus uh, is indicated as non-inverting input and these are the corresponding pin numbers 2, 3, 4, 6 and 7. This is the VCC supply, this is the negative supply here and V0 is the output and this is uh, uh, inverting input and this non-inverting. Inverting input means that when you apply an input here the output uh, 
uh, will have 180 degrees phase shift reversion of the input signal. And uh, here we have seen the operational amplifier is working uh, here with the two supplies, plus supply and negative supply. But uh, uh, you can use only one supply in this uh, minus VE could be a grounded. And that can give an advantage that you can add a, you can get a single uh, uh, ended output here. That means uh, it will go from zero to the positive direction only. And that this kind of uh, uh, output could be useful for uh, digital circuits. Now, here we'll talk about one of the very important uh, property of uh, operation amplifiers. Uh, that's a virtual ground. So we'll illustrate this virtual ground through an uh, inverting amplifier. And the concept of virtual ground uh, is very important. Uh, with respect to uh, inverting uh, amplifier circuits. So first uh, we'll see this concept with this inverting amplifier circuit here. Uh, we presume that the operational amplifier is an ideal uh, op amp. If it is an ideal operational amplifier, that means Rn is infinite. That input impedance is infinite, Rn. So if the input impedance is infinite, it will give the zero current. There will not be any current flowing into the circuit. So all the current will flow through the RF. Okay, so current through RF is IN. And even if A, the gain is infinite, so that if the gain is infinite, that means even the zero, V2 is zero, this input can give me that output. So input acts like a ground for the voltage. So what we observe here is this input here acts like a ground, V2 is 0. V2 is 0, so it's like a ground voltage, but open for the current. But this end here, this point, is not, uh, cannot sink, sink the current through this ground, so it is open for the current. So we say uh, this kind of ground as a virtual ground, and this ground sometimes said to be half ground. It's not a full ground, it's a half ground. And the advantage of this half ground is uh, maybe inverting amplifier can have more than one inputs because uh, these inputs, if you apply more than one inputs, they will see their own impedance because of the virtual ground concept. They will not interfere, interfere with each other. And uh, second is uh, here, uh, if this terminal has other than ground potential, we observe that the uh, the inverting input follows the uh, follows this uh, uh, positive uh, uh, point potential uh, in the negative feedback circuits. Now we'll observe that what are the different operation amplifier parameters. Uh, we'll see the parameter first is about the open loop gain. A uh, this is a is equal V out over V in. Uh, v, v out over VID. This is output here. There's V1 and this is V2. This is VID is V1 minus V2. So V out is equal to VID. This is an open loop gain. And not only uh, there is uh, uh, no, no negative feedback. And for 741, open loop gain is about 200,000. Input impedance is infinite for ideal operation amplifier. Rn and the typical value for uh, uh, 741 is 2 mega ohms input offset uh, voltage. Uh, this is also one of the very important uh, parameters. Uh, actually, if V1 and V2 equals to 0, then V out should be 0. It's a real operation amplifier. But V out is not 0 due to transfer mismatches. And uh, typical values uh, of 1 to 5 mold. 5 volts is observed, 1 to 5 millivolts is observed for the input offset uh, voltage and input offset is given at V out offset, the output offset voltage divided by the gain of the amplifier and for 741 that input offset uh, voltage typically is about 2 millivolts. Uh, now V out offset, output offset voltage can be made zero 
by applying a potentiometer between terminals 1 and 5 of the operation amplifier and adjusting the pot till the output voltage becomes 0. Now uh, we'll see the other parameters, the up amp parameters continued. Uh, one of the important parameter input offset current, I in OS offset current, this is uh, the difference of the IB1 minus I2, the base currents. And the smaller the input offset currents, better is the operation amplifier. This input offset current should be the smallest. Uh, this uh, actually indicates that how closely the transistors are matched. So for 741, it is about 20 nanoamperes. Input bias current is the basically the average uh, base current which is flowing through uh, seven part, uh, through the operation amplifier. This IB1 plus IB2 over 2, and for 741, the value is about 80 nanoamperes. Now, common mode rejection ratio is uh, one of the very important uh, parameter in the operation amplifier. CMR is given that uh, ratio of the differential gain over the common mode gain and this 20 log uh, AD over ACM, this in dBs. And for 741, the value for CMRR is about 90 dB. The value CMRR. Now, flew rate uh, is another important parameter. Uh, rate of change of voltage with time, the so maximum rate of change. And if uh, we apply an ideal step input, the response here is what we observe here. So for 741, and this value is about 0 .5, 0 0.5 volts per microseconds. But for sine wave input, uh, you can really find out the dV by dt value, SRs. And if you find the slow rate uh, for sine wave signal, you find that the maximum frequency which could be uh, which could be amplified uh, without uh, without distortion could be found from the slew rate. So F max over SR over 2 pi VP is the peak value of the input signal. Now uh, the last uh, one here is the operation amplifier uh, uh, equivalent circuit. This up amp equivalent circuit here, this uh, uh, block is operation amplifier. This indicate input impedance, input resistance. This output resistance in series with the voltage source AVID. AVID is the voltage source. So uh, we can observe here that V naught is AVID. So this uh, voltage source uh, is also said to be uh, voltage controlled voltage source in the operation amplifier. The other uh, parameter is the transfer curve of the operation amplifier. Here we observe that V0 is output is plotted against the VID, the input, this is a voltage transfer curve, uh, and it's a RDL uh, uh, out, uh, output offset zero. That means here we have presumed that the output uh, offset voltage is zero here in this particular case. Now the last uh, parameter and this uh, is the uh, gain bandwidth uh, product, gain bandwidth GBW. This uh, op amp is a, since a direct coupled uh, circuits, so the F1 is zero due direct coupling. So we can find the bandwidth by finding the cutoff frequency, uh, upper cutoff frequency. And the gain bandwidth uh, product is you can call it a GBW gain bandwidth product or unity gain uh, bandwidth. For 741, the value is uh, 1 megahertz. So uh, you can observe here uh, these values uh, have been summarized here. Uh, what are the uh, different parameters and how these parameters, uh, what is the corresponding symbol and what is ideal value and what is the practical value for 741 operation amplifiers. So it's uh, for reference this uh, uh, very good table to give you an idea that how these parameters uh, are or how what are their values in general. Okay, thank you.